Hey guys, here's part two of my DVD and Blu-ray collection. Uh, I'll go ahead and just go over these right here. I have... Well, this is the only steel book that I own. Uh, it's a Blu-ray. It's Battle Los Angeles. And it is beautiful. Absolutely love it. And I definitely need to get more steel books. Uh, that Psycho steel book that came out in the UK is calling my name, but it is really pricey right now. So, uh... And it'll probably only get more expensive as time goes on. Uh, here are all of my Blu-ray digibooks. I've got All About Eve, one of my favorite movies. And if I remember, The Hustler, The Big Lebowski, limited edition, and then I have Bridge on the River Kwai. And now moving on, I left off with this shelf in the last part. So I'll go ahead and go through these. Here I have Bram Stoker's Dracula on Blu-ray. The Lost Boys, Blu-ray. Near Dark. And don't be fooled by this Twilighty cover. It is a really good movie. And the rest of these right here are Blu-rays too. Underworld, another really fun movie. The Monster Squad. American Werewolf in London, classic. And Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. This movie was really bad. <laughs> Did not like that one. Uh, here's Jaws 2. These are all just regular DVDs. And Jaws 3. I have the original Jaws on VHS. Uh, the reason why I don't have it on DVD yet is because the Blu ray is coming out next year and I can't wait. Here's the original Piranha Lake Placid. Anacondas, The Hunt for Blood Orchid, Python 2, Boa vs. Python, Venomous, Bug, and the Killer Shrews Giant Gila Monster double feature. It's got both black and white versions and colorized versions of each film. And here is my Asian horror section. Uh, including the American remakes. I have The Eye on Blu-ray, which is an, the American remake. Uh, the remake of One Missed Call on Blu-ray. The Grudge on Blu-ray. I have The Grudge 2. Ringu. Ringu 2. And then the remake is The Ring. I actually prefer The Ring over Ringu. Um, I don't know, I just... whoa. Aliens fall in there. I uh, actually prefer this over Ringu. It's just, I don't know, I think it's a, a better movie. Some might disagree with me. But uh, Ringu's good, but I, I do prefer the remake. Here I have The Ring 2, which wasn't very good. Shudder. The Uninvited. Dark Water, the original. Japanese one, and Dark Water the remake. And down here I have White Noise with Michael Keaton. White Noise 2. Prom Night, the original. And Prom Night the remake. The Cave. Willard. The Mothman Prophecies. I watched this, I don't really remember it too much though. I mean, I know the whole Mothman myth, but um, I gotta watch that again sometime. Uh, this is The Messengers, Hangman's Curse, Killing Mr. Griffin, Shadow Zone, The Undead Express, which is based off of the book series, uh, The Haunting of Molly Hartley, which was really terrible. Uh, the Hollow, Sleepy Hollow High, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, this is the original movie, The Return, They, presented by uh, Wes Craven, and this is Red Eye, well, uh, another one of my favorite films by uh, Wes Craven, really, really good. And another one from Wes Craven is Cursed. This one wasn't very good. 
Magic. That one's excellent. And the others with Nicole Kidman. Really good movie. Alright. Uh, now coming down here, we've got a Silent Night, Deadly Night, three disc set, which includes the third movie, Better Watch Out, the fourth, Initiation, and the fifth, The Toy Maker. Really happy I got a hold of that, considering it's out of print now. Here's Leprechaun, triple feature. It has Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2, and Leprechaun 3. Funny games. Um, why do I have that over it? This movie really disturbed me. <laughs> um, I normally don't get disturbed by movies, but this movie did. And uh, just to look at it bugs me. So I just put that over it, just so I didn't have to look at it. I'm going to get rid of this movie sometime, because it's just... It's a really sick movie. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, the Exorcism of Emily Rose, Cry Wolf, The Howling Three, The Marsupials, Freaks, good movie, Psycho, Psycho Two, and Psych or Psycho Two, Psycho Three, and Psycho Four, Disturbia, which I really liked, Poltergeist, one of my favorite movies, and Poltergeist Two and Three, double feature. And here I have Poltergeist 2 on Blu-ray. Hopefully they release Poltergeist 3 on Blu-ray, just so I could get rid of this. I mean, I know Poltergeist 3 was very good, but I still hope they release it on Blu-ray. Another one of my favorite movies, Scream, on Blu-ray. Scream 2. Scream 3. And I'm really looking forward to when Scream 4 comes out this October. I know what you did last summer. I still know what you did last summer. And then this is Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Halloween H2O, 20 years later, double feature Blu-ray, which isn't a good Blu-ray at all. Um, the movies are good, though. Or at least H2O is. Uh, here's another one of my favorite movies, the original Halloween. And Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, and Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. I really like these movies. A lot of people don't like them, but I think they're very underrated, especially the fourth one. The fifth was just okay, but uh, I definitely prefer the fourth movie. This one is John Carpenter's Someone's Watching Me. It's a TV movie. Uh, John, Carpenter's, John Carpenter's The Original Fog, and then the remake. And then down here, I have Alfred Hitchcock. 20 movie collection. Um, I confess, also with uh, also directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Clue, the movie. Get a clue. This is based off of the the book, The Westing Game, which is a really good book. Uh, the original Nancy Drew movie mystery collection, which has four the original movies, and then Nancy Drew, uh, 2007 movie. I'm a Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys fan. Uh, right here, I have The Evil Dead, Child's Play, these are all Blu-ray, Cujo, Children of the Corn, Secret Window, The Craft, Trick or Treat, excellent movie, um, Salvage and Mortuary, double feature, Blair Witch Project on Blu-ray, I know what you're thinking. Uh, how does the Blair Witch Project benefit from Blu-ray? It doesn't. <laughs> but uh, I guess it's the best way to own the movie. Because, I mean, that means the... Because uh, in the original DVD, the picture was cropped pretty bad. And uh, with this, you get the full picture. So at least that's a uh, plus. Cloverfield, excellent movie. Troll 2, 20th Anniversary No Bog Edition. That's a fun movie. Uh, uh, amusement. This had serious potential, but it failed tremendously. This is Fireside Reflection. It's just a uh, where you put it in on in your DVD player and it has a fireplace on your TV. Uh, making a Fantastic Four. The Sci-Fi Boys, which is a really cool documentary. 
Halloween, The Happy Haunting of America, another really great documentary that I love. Premonition, Sandra Bullock. The Invisible, which I really liked. A Lady in the Water. The Village. Signs, of course. And Unbreakable. And coming down here is Back to the Future 20th Anniversary Trilogy on Blu-ray. Back to the Future is, of course, my most favorite movie, as it is just about everybody's. Here's Shrek, the whole story on Blu-ray. Um, Avatar, the extended Blu-ray edition. Um, this is Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader on Blu-ray. Taxi Driver on Blu-ray. And one of my prized possessions is the Sleepaway Survival Kit, Red Cross Edition. Uh, this was um, released like this at first, but then Red Cross got a little mad because they didn't have their permission to use the Red Cross, and they changed it. So this one is now out of print. Really happy to have this. And, uh, yeah, that is all of that. Next, I will go over all of this through here and all of that. I'll try to go through these really quick because I'm running out of time. Here are Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. Love Buffy. Uh, the Dead Zone, Season 1, 2, 3, and 5. Uh, Stephen King's Kingdom Hospital, the entire series. Uh, Stephen King's Nightmares and Dreamscapes, uh, Poltergeist The Legacy Season 1, Ghost Hunters Season 4 Part 1, Swamp Thing the series, uh, that's Part 1, uh, Moonlight the complete series, Eerie Indiana the complete series, Charmed Season 1, 2, 3, and 4, Smallville Season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, Supernatural Season 1 and 2, Invasion the complete series, this is the 80s um, series of The Twilight Zone. I have season one of that. And the complete series of the uh, latest Twilight Zone series. And here is The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew Mysteries, season two. Full House, season one, three, and five. Trimmers, the complete series. Haunted, the complete series. Dinotopia, the miniseries. And then Dinotopia, the, uh, the uh, complete TV series. And here I have Sherlock Holmes, the 1950s series, um, complete series of that. Coming through here, I have Amazing Stories, Season 1, Lost, Season 1 and 2, Tales from the Crypt, Season 1, 2, 3, and 5, and Tales from the Crypt Keeper, which is the animated series uh, that came on. So you got Season 1 and 2 of that, and then here is uh, three episodes from Season 3 of Tales from the Crypt Keeper. And then I have Tales from the Dark Side Season 1 and Season 3, Friday the 13th series, uh, Season 1, uh, The Hitchhikers, uh, Volume 1 and Volume 3, they have 10 episodes each from the series. Then this right here, I have Are You Afraid of the Dark, the complete series, this is a bootleg. Then I have uh, all my Goosebumps DVDs, I used to watch Goosebumps all the time. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of those. And then I have 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, the complete series. What's New Scooby-Doo, Season 1 and 2. Hey Arnold, Season 1. Um, Phil the Future, Gadgets and Gizmos. So that was a show that came on uh, Disney Channel. They used to watch all the time. Uh, Spider-Man. This is uh, some of the animated episodes. Birds of Prey, the complete series. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 8 motion comic on Blu-ray. And Fear Itself, the complete first season. So, that is my complete DVD and Blu-ray collection. Uh, oops, just backed up into my chair. Alright, um, I'm going to be doing uh, DVD and Blu-ray collection updates um, from now on. Um, I'm also a book collector, so I will be doing book videos as well. But uh, if you're not interested in that, you don't have to watch it. So, uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye.